during that time, you told Dr. Danforth that you were going to die in a few days, did you not? I probably did. And that's because you believed you were going to die. I did. And you also told Dr. Danforth that the reason you knew you were going to die was because it had been communicated to you by your husband, Abraham Lincoln, is that right? Yes, ma'am. And your husband had died nine years before, is that right? Almost 10. And the method that you explained to Dr. Danforth that you knew or that that communication came to you was through rapping noises on a table, is that right? Yes. And you could interpret those rapping noises, is that right? I did. And did you in fact demonstrate your ability to interpret the rapping noises to Dr. Danforth? Well, I tried to. And when you say you tried to, you told Dr. Danforth you heard the noises, is that right? Yes, I did. And Dr. Danforth told you, however, that he didn't hear any noises. Is that correct? That's what he said. Maybe he's hard of hearing. And so, <laughs> based on that hard of hearing problem, you sought to further demonstrate it to Dr. Danforth by showing a cracked goblet to him as evidence of the wrapping. Is that correct? Yes. And Dr. Danforth confronted you with the fact that he did not believe the accuracy of what you were saying. Is that correct? Well, that's his opinion. But that's what he said to you, isn't it? That's what he said, but it's still just his opinion. 